If you are in the state of Florida right now, you need to stop what you're doing and you need to listen to this video. However much water that you think you need to get through this, double it. Maybe triple it if you have family and friends. Same thing goes for gasoline. Stop what you're doing. If you don't have a generator, find one, get one, get water, get fuel. This storm is going to cause a lot more damage than most people are used to seeing. And in Florida, that's saying something because we're used to seeing a lot of damage. I'm sure a lot are probably asking the question, Florida Maquis, what's going to make this storm so much different than any other? We've had Category 4s and 5s. They're saying this one's going to be a Category 3. Why should I worry? It has nothing to do with the storm itself other than the fact that it has a giant wind field. Now, Florida Maquis, we've dealt with wind and rain before. What's the difference with this one? The difference with this one is that Florida is already inundated with water. It was something that I was thinking about doing a video about the last couple of weeks, but I thought, you know what? It's September in Florida. It's the rainy season. And a week ago, nobody was really talking about a hurricane. It rained from the beginning of September for two, two and a half weeks every single day. And all of the drainage is already full. If we get a huge wind field, there are going to be trees that people think are fine that are going to come down over all sorts of power lines all across the state. Now, this isn't from the storm, the current storm. The image that you're looking at is past seven days rainfall. It has rained all over Florida day after day after day after day for almost all of September. And everything is soaked. When that wind hits, it is going to, those trees, those roots of those trees are setting in a swamp and they're just going to lean over and collapse. And when they do that, when they lean over and collapse, guess what's going to happen? I mean, like the one that just happened in Tallahassee? Yeah giant oak tree that had stood there for almost a century just leaned over and fell over why the roots finally got so saturated and so they couldn't hold anymore and the tree was off center and it just leaned over no it didn't there was no great wind that blew it over it was just so sopping wet and here's going to be the worst part here's what people aren't going to get when this water comes and it has nowhere to go. There are going to be downed power lines setting in water. And when that happens, the crews, even though it might be a bright, sunny day, the crews cannot go out and roll those trucks into water that has downed power lines in it. The power is going to be out for a very long time because it's going to take forever to clear this out. Let me show this again. Past seven days. And this is this really doesn't tell the story. It's really been the past couple of weeks. This started right about the, oh, I guess, fourth, fifth day of September. Nobody could mow their lawns. For It, it was raining every day. Now, was it an end of the world storm? No. But when it's every day, day after day after day, everything fills up. And when everything fills up like this, and that water has no place to go, and then all of a sudden you bring in a storm that has wind and a lot more rain, it's going to soak everything. And trees that people are looking at like, oh, that tree will be fine, that tree will be fine, they're just going to lean over and fall. Because their roots are going to be literally setting in nothing but a swamp. And they're just going just gonna to fall over. They, they're usually fine because the water has a place to go. It's going to be the size of the wind field, the amount of wind, how much of Florida that it hits, and the state of Florida when it hits. We are already inundated right now. Absolutely inundated with sopping wet soil from the Gulf Coast all the way to the Space Coast, from Lake Okeechobee all the way to Gainesville, this entire area right now is, is for all real intents and purposes setting underwater already 
It's sitting underwater already. It has not had a chance to drain. They have been... Now, where I'm at, I'm up here in this little place called Palm Coast. It's kind of halfway between St. Augustine and Daytona. Of all the places I could be, I'm probably the safest. But everything is kind of interconnected. And when this hits, and they're saying it's going to go up through the, the Big Bend area, that's where the main thrust of the storm is going to hit. But there's still going to be a massive wind field over Tampa and Kissimmee and Ocala. And I know a lot of people think, oh, Florida's you know, overpopulated. It's all houses, nothing but houses. There are a lot of trees in Florida. So a lot of people don't get, there's a lot of areas that are just, are very, very wild. You're going to see, you're going to see animals everywhere. I think that's going to be something that's going to surprise a lot of people because they're already, one of the biggest problems we've had up here in Palm Coast has been snakes. Literally getting on people's driveways and sidewalks and porches and because they have nowhere to go. Everything in the ground is so saturated, is, is so underwater, they have nowhere to go. Now, they're mostly harmless. You know, water snakes, banded water snakes, and, you know, I mean, there's a few poisonous ones, but they're, they're mostly harmless. But they'll scare the bejesus out of you. That's going to be the problem. Now, as always, I recommend Track the Tropics, just like it sounds. T-R-A-C-K, T-H-E, T-R-O-P-I-C-S. Track the Tropics that's been tracking this, this Helene. I know there's been a lot of warnings out, um, and that's fine. People kind of gloss over the warnings. Maybe you put it on the TV in the background, like, oh, okay, well, here we go again. You know, we're going to have our hurricane party. We're going to you know, do all this, and people aren't putting two and two together. Now, I know a lot of people think, well, isn't Florida almost kind of always that way? Generally, it is. Generally, it is. There's, you know, areas you can't walk because it's kind of a sop and wet mess, but not like now. We are absolutely full of water. This is just most people's yards right now. And we're way over here on the East Coast where I'm at. It's worse inland where there's still standing water. They haven't had a chance to pump it out. They were asking us to limit water usage, you know, because of the uh, the sewage treatment being completely overwhelmed. It took in six, I think it was one day, it took in a hundred, in one day, it took in a hundred Olympic-sized swimming pools just in our little town here. And they had to bring in giant pumper trucks and run them overnight, 24-7, to help it try to catch up. You could, you could, like I said, you, you couldn't, I don't care what kind of mower you had, you couldn't go out and mow for, for weeks, not for a day or two or three or four or five. It rained every day, and it wasn't something, well, Florida Maquis, why didn't you warn us about this? Raining in September in Florida, just having kind of a wet September is not, you know, news at 11 type of stuff. But when you have it rain, 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 rain like this and soak everything, and this was real screen, this is a real screenshot of the, of the radar. I mean, it wasn't just one area. It was everywhere. There was just this, there were just thunderstorms. And they went on for weeks. Oh, and this is, rain. sorry about that. You know, this was Click Orlando. They were, you know, 7.3 inches, 5.8 inches, 6.5 inches. I mean, it was just incredible. You, when you get an inch of rain every day, day after day after day after day, you know, people gave up on swim, swimming pools were just a joke. There's no way you could keep them clean. Everybody just let them go. You know, even with the um, enclosures that people have, when you have that much rainwater, you know, there's there's nothing you can do. Basically, turning it into a, a you know a bass pond or something in the backyard. But it, let me reiterate what the problem is going to be. The problem is going to be there are so many big trees that are now setting in soil that can't hold them. They're barely standing up. And this, this happened literally, this was a hundred year old tree in Tallahassee that just one day just gave up the ghost, just leaned over. I mean, there weren't, you know, there wasn't a dead branch that cracked and fell. The entire tree 
just leaned over and just fell to the ground because it was just setting in in swamp in swamp water which wasn't normally the case and when all of these trees start falling over on power lines and knocking the power out and they have to shut the power out there's not much they're going to, if it's, if these power lines, if this area is setting underwater, they've got to get rid of the water first. And right now the water has nowhere to go. It's got nowhere to go. So you're going to be out of power for a long time. There can, there's going to be probably power crews stacked up waiting to fix things, but they've got to get rid of the water first. Because they're not going to go out and fix things if they're standing in two and three feet of water. And usually after hurricanes go through, you know, it's not quite this, quite this wet. So I'm just saying, if you have the ability to, you know, maybe take a minute on this one and say, you know what, it's not really about this storm being way, way, way worse than any other as far as its own power, but it's what it's going to hit. It's the size of the wind field and the state of the ground right now in Florida. So however long you were planning on being out of power, triple it. Whatever you need at the grocery store, triple it. Because it's going to be one of those things that nobody is, is going to see coming. It's just going to be, I mean, they talk about the perfect storm. It's just, it's the circumstance right now. If we had, you know, a week or two, of dry, hot weather to let all this cook off and let that water table drop, I'd say, okay, yeah. You know, there's going to be some, you know, sporadic problems here and there. But that's not the case. We are already almost underwater. If this thing hits in, in only a day or two and it starts to rain again right now and it fills everything up and then that wind field hits... You are going to watch trees all over this state just lean over and knock power out. Everything from Cape Coral all the way up to Jacksonville. You're going to see it from Space Coast all the way into Big Bend. There, it's, it's going to, they're going to be overwhelmed. And the problem is they're not going to be able to get right in behind this thing and like they usually do and fix things because the water will not have had a chance to drain because we're already full. So I won't reiterate it another time. Prepare for a week. A prepare for 10 days. I know if asking a Floridian is like, it's not going to be that long, Mucky. It's never been that long before. Prepare for a week to 10 days without power. Because they're just not going to have the ability to get it back on until the water goes away. And the water is not going to go away as fast as it has in the past. So, I will leave it there. Once again, Track the Tropics, just like it sounds, T-R-A-C-K-T-H-E, Tropics, has pretty much every possible... Um, one second here. Just about every, every possible model you want to look at. The, uh, this is this is a really great shot that the bands are already starting to get near the southern part of Florida and it's if you're in Florida right now get to the gas station get some cans if you have a jet if you have a generator plan to run it for you know do the math plan to run it for a week plan to run it for a week fresh water all that kind of stuff. Because if you don't have power, the grocery stores aren't going to have power. And if they don't have power, they're not going to have ice. And that's going to be another problem. You know, people with insulin, people with all sorts of... It, there's going to be some major problems in Florida with this storm. More so than any other. More so than any other. I cannot reiterate this enough. I know this looks like an innocuous picture. But with a hurricane coming... With the water table this high, we're going to have a problem. So, I will leave it there. Good luck. God bless.
Pray for Florida. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.